Hi, welcome to another episode of Drinks After Midnight Productions. This is by far one of my favorite card tricks performance, all because of Steve Johnson at Grand Illusions. I was looking around on the internet, trying to find a local um, magic store that I could go to in the Sacramento area of California. I found a store online that had an online store too that I could order from, Grand Illusions. And Found the, um, found the address, uh, found out about the times, and just said to myself, let's just go. Let's see what happens, let's just go down there. And as soon as I walked in, you could see what kind of store they actually are. A great store. Not only do they do magic tricks, not only do they supply with magic supplies, but they also do costumes, they do props, um, and just the customer service they have there, excellent. I mean, again, the gentleman that helped me, Steve Johnson, <clears throat> excuse me, Steve Johnson, um, by far, um, not only is he a great magician, but also instantaneously you become his friend and you go, wow, that's a guy I'll have a drink with. Seriously, you're like, oh, I, you know, come on, I'll, I'll buy the first round. He's awesome. In fact, he, uh, his version is this version I'm about to do called Panic. Um, he learned this from, and I'm going to let you find out on your own, and I'll have a link to the panic uh, ne next to it, because this is a trick you have to figure out on your own. You have to see, just to believe, because that's the way I saw it. I saw an advertisement on Grand Illusions. I went and looked around for videos, everything about it. It's worth it. So here's, uh, here's a panic for you. Again, if I can say, Grand Illusions, great store. Thank you, Steve Johnson. So here we go. Uh, we're going to start off, and you know, we're just going to take a, um, we don't even need these ones. Um, so all I'm going to do is put these um, four kings, you can see right here, in my pocket, just like that, okay? Because I actually have the rest of the pack right here, and you can, and you can see it right here. I'm just going to spread the cards out. Let's see, Let's see if I can. Spread it out a little better. I know they're a little choppy, but so all I'm gonna do is take the pack. Now watch, just like this. And if you squeeze, you squeeze, and you push the pack together. Get as flat as you can. If you're lucky. Four cards remain. Not bad, huh? And you can definitely see all sides. I like to do that because when you show top to bottom, you show front to back. All it is is just four cards. You might be wondering where the rest of the pack went to. Glad you asked. In fact, if you look right here, the rest of the pack is actually in my hand. And here's where the fun begins, because this is what Steve put his little touch on, and I love this part. The audience will pick any card they want. Again, I don't have an audience, so we're going to go ahead and try to wing this. And I want to stress the fact, like the other times I've done this, I don't see the card until I edit the video, so hopefully I did this right. So far, this is my first attempt. So, here's the card. All, we, all we're going to do is place the card about like this, so you can see I'm not touching it. You're going to tell me to stop. You want me to stop. Right there? Okay. All you do is take the card, place it right there, drop it into the pack. It's lost. It's lost. Even if you wanted to, I like to go ahead and do a little shuffle to show that it is, in fact, lost into the pack. Now for a lucky. Now here's the one of the most difficult moves a magician can do. I learned this took me two years to learn. Watch. I'm gonna make a card turn upside down. That was tough. Like I said, if we're lucky a card has turned upside down. Let's see here. See? There we go. Excuse me. Uh, this is not your card. Let me see here. This is the five, right? The five. Um, let's see what we can do. Hold on. I'm going to set the five. In fact, we'll just remember that we have the five. So we go like this. We go one, two, three, 
for. Now the card I should pull up right here. This is the fifth card. It should be yours. And for the sake of argument, let's go ahead if we wanted to start this trick all over again. I thank you for your time. That is panic. And also, like I've said, check out Grand Illusions. Go to their website. Order. Call them on the phone. Because you will not get any better service around than Grand Illusions. That's one good magic trick. Thank you for joining me on Drinks After Midnight Productions. Have a good one.